blogger and stylist for PacSun. To kickstart the first video of our Golden State of Mind video series, we put together a fun do-it-yourself project that involves one of the biggest trends of the season, the embellished collar. From high fashion runways to local boutiques, everyone's putting their own personal twist on this trend. Today, we're going to be showing you how to create the detachable embellished collar. If you guys are ready to begin, I'll go through the materials that you need to get started. One of the most important materials that you need is a good collar. I prefer a men's t-shirt, a button down, because the collar is stiff and it sits better on the neck. You also need a pair of fabric cutting scissors and one to two packets of studs, just depending on your preference. Today we'll be using a gold medium sized pyramid stud with a four prong backing. And the last element that we need is a pair of collar tips that have an easy closable backing. So the first step is to lay your t-shirt down flat and locate the hem near the collar. You're going to be cutting on the right hand side, that way the thread doesn't unravel. And we're using a chambray top today, but if you guys are feeling up for it, you can always use a plaid flannel or a polka dot. Now that you have your collar, we can move on to step two, adding the collar tips. Before we begin, you can button up the collar so you can kind of get a feel of what you're going to be working with. We have two collar tips for you today, both sold at PacSun under the brand with Love from California, but we're going to choose a more flirty, feminine piece to accent the studs. And because we're working with this button opening, we're going to flip the tip a little bit. That way it hides that opening. And the best part of these is they have an easy open and close backing, so you can remove them at any time and you can add them onto different blouses. Now when you snap them on, just make sure it's aligned perfectly, like a triangle down at the bottom. The next step is studding the collar. So for this, you're gonna need your studs and then also your fabric cutting scissors to kind of close the back of the prongs once you seal them in. Prior to studying, you can place the studs on your collar to see where you want to lay them. For this project, we're just going to be placing them in about a half inch apart and just randomly. So you're going to pierce through the fabric, flip it over and you can see the prongs. And you're going to take your fabric cutting scissors and for each prong, you're going to seal them down. Once you've completed studying your entire color, there's one last step, and that's covering the button up in the front. Some collars will have a button that matches the background, so you don't have to worry about hiding it. But for this, we're going to take a larger pyramid stud and push it through right next to the button. Button it up, you can just button it through the stud. And it'll hide the button underneath. For more alternatives to the embellished collar, check out a few of our Peter Pan necklaces soon to hit Pack Sun. Now that you've created your embellished color, pair it with a few of your favorite flirty patterns or basic statement tops. Thanks for watching and check back for more videos on do-it-yourself projects and how-tos.